Hey everyone, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So in previous videos, we created the organizational breakdown structure for the company Wales Private Limited. As you can see, R Pandey and he had four people under him who are heading several departments. Then we also created four enterprise project structures under Wales Private Limited. You can see them on the screen. Now see one thing before moving on uh, further in this video. This video is all about creating a new project. I'll be telling you how to create a new project and all the details related to that. But before that, I just wanted to tell you, see, this is the projects window right now, which has been opened. And if you go to the tools tab, then this is the table format that has been open. But if you go to this point, which is the Gantt chart, then it will open the Gantt chart also. Gantt chart is nothing but it is a chart which will show the schedule using the bars and all that. This is the activity which is starting on this and this date and all. When we we'll add activities, then we'll be better understand this Gantt chart thing. So right now we close this Gantt chart. Also, if you want these EPS to be displayed in the table format, then you can choose this chart view, chart format, sorry. So this is now coming in the chart format. So we'll go back to the uh, table format only and we'll keep it like this only. One more thing is if you wanted to customize these columns, like only three columns are being displayed here right now. So what you have to do is you have to go to this point, you have to right click on your mouse and then you have to go to the columns and you have to go to customize. Now you can see there are several options. If you click on this plus button under baseline, under budget, then uh, under cost, dates, so let us try to add something here like actual finish we'll add here then actual start also we'll add here okay so actual start we'll bring to the last and similarly actual finish also we'll bring to the last using these arrow keys and we'll click on okay so now you can see that actual start and actual finish columns have been added on your window so this is how you can customize your columns Similarly, this is called as the details view, detailed view. Here also you can customize your columns, like customize project details. So like settings you want to go back, calculations you want to go back. So you can click on OK. Now settings and calculation tab has been removed from here. If you want to bring them back, you can go to customize again. OK, so now moving ahead, we'll create a new project. So there are several ways through which you can create a new project. So first of all, you have to identify that what the project is all about. So for that, we'll go to our presentation. See, so the presentation says that a new project of Chennai region IT building construction from an IT client has been awarded to Wales Construction Limited, which comes under the construction department of the company. So what you have to do is you have to bring one project manager under R Balaji, who is Sunil Sharma and Sunil Sharma has to be assigned this IT building construction project. So one thing is very clear that a project is given to Wales Private Limited and under the construction department, this project has been given and it will be assigned to Sunil Sharma, who is working under R Balaji and Sunil Sharma is the name of a project manager. And the project is planned to start on 22nd of October 2018. So we will execute these things in our Primavera P6. So we'll go to Primavera P6 and we'll create one new project. OK, so first of all, you have to go to this EPS, even if you don't go, you can still choose this EPS. It won't matter at all. So how to create a new project now? See, first method is you can go to enterprise in the tools box, in the tools tab, enterprise, and then you can go to projects and then you can go to add button in the command bar. See this, what, what I did this, this, this was done to open the projects tab enterprise projects, but here the projects tab is already open. So you need not do it again but suppose if projects tab is not being displayed then you have to do it like this and then you have to click on this plus button to add a new project okay so see now it is asking the eps like we have already selected construction so it is adding a project under the construction eps only and we wanted the same but if you want to change it suppose if we wanted a project under maintenance then you can choose this you can click maintenance and then you can click on select. It will add under the maintenance EPS. But right now I'm closing it since I want it under the construction EPS only. We'll click on next. Now you have to choose the project name. So you can give any ID to the project since it is an IT construction project. So I'll write it as ITC. Let it be. And the name of the project is IT building construction. So I'll write it IT building construction so this is the name of the project we'll go to next 
you have to tell the project planned start so the project is planned to start on 27th october 2018 okay so we'll go to this first of all we'll select 2018 by this method and then we have to select october and then the date is 22nd of october which is monday and we'll select it okay see you can change the hour also at what time it is supposed to start let us suppose the site starts at 8 in the morning let us assume this so we'll click on select now okay must finish by in the uh, presentation there was no constraint given that the project must finish by this and this date later on we will see in the constraints option how to add the constraint right now we'll leaving it we'll be leaving this blank we'll go to next who is the responsible manager r balaji since there is no person assigned yet under r balaji so let us keep it as r balaji only as of now we'll change the obs and then we will assign the project to mr sunil sharma also okay we'll go to next for now price type what is the price type so see this is by default price per unit so we won't change this at all it's not required so the congratulations message has been displayed so our project has been created and we'll click on finish now you can see the details have changed a a new project called as it building construction with the project id of itc has been assigned here but now we need to change the responsible manager to sunil sharma for that we need to modify our obs we'll go to obs we will assign one person under r balaji who is mr sunil sharma so sunil sharma has been assigned under r balaji now we will click on close and we will assign this project to sunil sharma from the details tab sunil sharma and assign so now this project has been given to sunil sharma you can see the responsible manager is sunil sharma see very basic thing is a project cannot be given to the head of a department it has to be headed by the project manager itself that is why it's not given to r balaji r balaji is the person who is sitting at headquarters somewhere he'll be monitoring from the headquarter itself but the responsible manager will be sunil sharma only who is the project manager okay so this is how we create a new project so now the project has been created but if we want to create the project in some other way then what is the other option through which we can create is c uh this is the directory bar from here if you click on this option new new button then also it will create a new project so again you will select the eps suppose the eps is let's say this time it's maintenance assign next you will give the id give the name next you will choose a start date next you will assign the responsible manager next next and finish the project has been created under the maintenance if you will click on this plus this maintenance project will be displayed but we didn't want this project so we are deleting it so you can delete it by clicking on this cross button in the commands bar yes so the project has got deleted now so this is how we create a new project i hope it is clearly understood but we will also see this detailed portion see in general what happens is you can assign change the things like eps id you can change eps name you can change you can change the responsible manager also for this okay you can change the project status like whether it is the project is not at all suppose it's covid time the project is not active at all it's it has been stopped for a certain reason like due to covid so you can choose it as inactive you can choose it as planned whether this is the planned project it is not an actual project or it is a what if scenario you are just assuming a case of a project and doing all the calculations okay so you can change the responsible manager see check in and check out we'll see in some other video it's not of much importance then project priority is also not at all important but this is just uh, like if you have several number of projects you can change the priority of the project so higher priority project will be given more importance because they are critical projects okay if you have some project website you can type your website you can launch it from here you can choose the financial period calendar which is not much important okay then we have notebook tab you can add some notes here like if you want some uh, some remarks you want to add or maybe some uh, objectives of the project you have or maybe some problems you have encountered you want to refer in other projects what all problems you encountered okay so all these things you can add in the notebook tab then we have budget log what what is your budget 
okay you can click on this add you can uh, you can uh, basically add all the changes in the budget what was the original budget what is your current budget what is your proposed budget if there are some changes in the budget like for for example for overheads the budget was there like for this and this particular amount will be given to this project for staff salary but due to some reasons the budget has been decreased uh, because of the loss of profits okay so you can add the changes in budget also here. Yeah. What is the spending plan? Like this and this date, this and this month, you have uh, identified some plans for spending that this and this amount we will spend. So you can add it to your spending plan here. Budget summary, you can add it. What is the budget? What is the unallocated budget? What is the spending plan? What is the benefit plan? What are the variances? Then some dates and all you can mention here. What is the start uh, project start, plan start? What is the must finish by? This is a constraint. What is the data date? When, uh, when you are feeding the data, what is the date of feeding the data? What are the anticipated start and finish date? Suppose the project is yet not started and you are anticipating that the project will start on this and this date. Okay, what is the actual start? What is the actual finish? Then funding, if you have some funding sources, like some agencies are funding you, or maybe you are getting some amount from government bodies uh, as a part of CSR things. So you can add your funding sources. Codes we will study in some other video because this is a separate topic. Then defaults, this, this, this is applicable to activities. So when we'll be studying about addition of activities, then and there we'll understand all these things. This is very simple. It will hardly take some time. Then resources also you can add here. Okay, so this is all about the detailed view. So I hope this complete video was clear to you. And uh, that's all about the video. But one more thing I, I would like to tell you that in enterprise, if you go to OBS now, then I told you something about responsibility. See, now you see Sunil Sharma has been assigned this project automatically because we changed the responsibility to Sunil Sharma. Suppose if you want to uh, give some particular project to G Swami, then you can choose it from here. So that is why I told you during the creation of OBS that we will not do it here. Instead, we will create a new project. There we will change the responsible manager. Otherwise, you could have done it from here. Here also okay so that's all about the creation of a uh, new project one last thing which i would like to uh, address is uh, that you can just copy cut and paste also these things like suppose if you want to copy the same project so you can go to this uh, command bar and you can copy this and you can paste this Okay, it will ask you what all things you want to paste, whether you want to paste the risk also of this project. So you can choose no risk are different in this project. So you can click on okay. So this will again ask you some other things. So we don't want maybe WBS milestones, we'll click on okay. So a new project has been copied, which is similar to IT building construction, just the two things which we unclicked, these are not similar and the ID, ID hit, it has changed to ITC1 because ID has to be unique. So this is how we copy the project. Now we'll delete this project since it was done for the testing purpose. Okay, so the, now the project has been deleted. So I hope these things are clear to you and I hope you understood all the ways of creation of a new project. Okay, you can also do create a new project from this file and new. Okay, so this is yet another method and keep exploring. You will come up with several other methods also. Okay, so that's all about the video. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll be learning about the creation of WBS. Thank you.